Hi everybody, Ian Bremer here around your world. 180 seconds, have your questions on my phone and we're ready to go. First, what do I expect to come from Biden's trip to Europe? Uh, I expect to see a hell of a lot of unity from all of the Europeans. Uh, he's going to Poland, of course. The Polish government has, they've got 2 million refugees already from Ukraine sitting in Poland. Um, and they're also uh, among the most assertive in terms of more sanctions against the Russians particularly like cutting off energy, for example. I think Biden is gonna to try to bridge that uh, with the Europeans and wants to be seen as a strong ally that's leading this process. I expect it's gonna be one of his better trips so far. There's no question because there is so much alignment um, on the Russia issue. Why was Putin critic Alexei Navalny sentenced to nine more years in prison? Uh, I, I guess I'm surprised it wasn't longer, frankly. I mean, you know, he is sitting in a, a penal camp um, outside of Moscow. Uh, the Russian government is already getting hit left, right, and center for Ukraine. Not a lot of people are talking about Navalny, though I am right now. Uh, this is, has been the leading opposition member in Russia who very courageously got on a plane and flew back to Russia knowing he was clearly going to be arrested and probably tortured. Um, and the Russians just don't care. It is impunity. That's what we're seeing from the Russians, what we're gonna see from the Russians, and there's very little to be done for Navalny right now except to talk about him and think about him because of what he's doing for the Russian people and for all of us, really. Uh, will China's worst passenger jet crash in years derail President Xi's reelection? Who writes this stuff? Um, he doesn't, it's not like people are voting for President Xi. I mean, it's a dictatorship. Um, and he does have um, strong support from the population. Uh, but leaving that aside, now the big challenges for Xi Jinping right now are more about uh, zero COVID and whether or not his policy is going to be a serious, serious disruption for the average people on the ground in China, as well as just how badly his friendship with President Putin is likely to play out and will that lead to backlash against China. My friend Kevin Rudd, the former Australian Prime Minister and more importantly, one of the top China watchers out there, um, actually thinks that if the Russia issue goes badly, um, that Xi Jinping could be close to a coin flip for getting his third term. I was shocked. I mean, I think that there's a risk, but I was surprised he thought it was that high. Something to be watching going forward. Be good. Talk to you soon.